We begin tonight in Pueblo, where the city is urging people who live near the old Smelter Superfund site to get their soil tested for lead and arsenic. As Spencer Soisher learned tonight, the Environmental Protection Agency is offering to do the test for free, but time is running out. Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar is urging people in the Eilers, Vesemer, and Grove neighborhoods to get their soil tested by the EPA before it's too late. They'll come and test your property for free, test your house for free, and if they find contamination, they'll clean it up for free. The 1,700 parcels in question sit where the old CF&I smelter used to operate. Back in September, the EPA expanded the original study boundary to include 100 additional residences that were adjacent to places that may have high levels of arsenic and lead. But the free testing won't be on the table much longer. Mayor Gratisar says the EPA is leaving town within the next year. And if people don't get the test done now, they'll have to pay for it on their own at a steep cost. My dad worked at the CFNI. The EPA has already been through Jim Schaefer's homes. He owns multiple properties in the area. They just asked if, if they could do samples and stuff. Schaefer said the EPA found high levels of contamination in his soil and took care of it. Adding to the urgency, the mayor says it's important to get this done now because it's something that could affect your property value down the road. In the future, the city's probably going to adopt an ordinance that puts a zone a district on there, a special zone district for this area, which will require you to get testing and remediation on your own dime. To get in touch with the EPA, call 1-888-886-6602. And of course, we'll also post that on KRDO.com. In South Pueblo, I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13.